Hello, boot camp people. Dave here with a pretty quick video to talk to you about the close. Um, I think that a lot of people are often intimidated by this particular part of uh, the you know, sponsoring process. And I think the two hardest parts are the initial invitation, inviting somebody to take a look at our business, um, whether you're asking them to watch the invitation to Team Beachbody video or inviting them into the What Is Coaching group, um, and then the actual close where you're asking them, do you want to go ahead and become a coach? So, and then also, I guess, as part of that, you know, sponsoring them with a challenge pack. So I wanna talk about those two things. Right now, we're here in week four. Um, you should have people in the What Is Coaching group. Hopefully, you're just gonna let that do the work for you. Um, this should be the easiest close you'll ever have is people coming out of this group. Um, so what I really wanna focus on is not the actual close because I think people often sort of go, well, you know, what's your slick sales speech? You must have some thing where you just serve it up on a platter and it's just so irresistible. You look at the delicious, you know, it's wafer thin, it's delicious. I don't, I really don't. What I do is I spend a lot of time before I ever get to the close, getting to know people, getting to understand people and understanding how Beachbody can fit in their life. Okay, so that's what I, that's how I view this whole thing. It's like a problem solving adventure, right? I need to understand what your problem is so that I can help you solve it with Beachbody or not. Sometimes people have a problem we can't solve, okay? That happens, okay? You just have to kind of accept that that's reality. And some, some people are gonna say no. You know, if you're working with me, you know, I always tell people our job is to ask. Our job is not to decide. That's your prospect's job. That's up to them. They are the ones who get to make the decision, but you have to ask. That's your job. That's what we do as coaches. We ask. Other people decide. That's totally out of our hands. Okay? So your job is just to ask. So how do I do this? I ask questions and then I listen and I pay attention to my prospects, okay? I really suggest, and I you know, posted this in the group today as part of today's post, that you create a separate list where you have your prospects. I'm actually creating a separate list for the people who are just in the What Is Coaching uh, um, uh, group. Some of them are on my prospect list as well, but I wanna really pay attention to these particular people while they're in the group, because I wanna know, are they changing the way that they're posting at all? Are they maybe posting about health and fitness now? Are they maybe starting to post some more inspirational quotes than they normally would? Are they a little more stoked on life and excited about things than maybe they otherwise would be? Because if they are, that's a pretty good sign that they're ready to say yes to you. So what do I know? I know that when we get on the phone and I follow up with them, the close is gonna be easy. I just need to ask them a few questions and they're gonna tell me, they'll sell themselves, essentially, okay? So that's the first thing is really paying attention to your people, understanding your people. If you don't know them personally, you know, maybe they're in a customer assignment from Beachbody or somebody you met online, you don't really know them personally, you need to. You need to, and if you don't, the close will be hard. That's when closing gets really, really hard is when you don't know people, okay? Whenever I am presented with somebody who, uh, like for example, the other day, uh, last week, I was referred uh, a, a coach prospect by a friend in LA and I don't know this person at all, and the person didn't know very much about Beachbody. I spent the 20-minute phone call that we had just trying to get to know him. I did very little explaining about what we do as coaches, and I ask a ton of questions, because I'm trying to figure out what his problem is. Why is he interested in being a coach? Is his problem that he needs to find a way to help people? Is his problem that he needs to find a way to make extra income? Is his problem that he needs to find um, to help keep himself accountable for his own personal fitness? Is his problem that he wants to get a discount on Shakeology? What is the problem and how can I solve it? And that's really how I look at this whole process. So we didn't get there on that 20 minute conversation. I sent him some information, links to the you know business opportunity presentation on our website, and now we're in the follow-up process. When I get back on the phone with him, I'm gonna do as little talking as I possibly can. And when I am talking, I'm gonna be validating what he says and asking questions. I'm not gonna tell him why I am in this business, okay? That's not what I'm gonna to talk to him about, okay? If he wants to talk to me about 
getting a discount on Shakeology, that's what we're going to talk about. If he wants to talk about help, helping him stay accountable to his own fitness, that's what we're going to talk about. If he wants to talk about um, how, to, how to make money, we're going to talk about that. If he wants to talk about a way to help other people, we're going to talk about that. Because it's his problem, not mine, his. So as long as I keep validating and acknowledging what he's saying, going, oh yeah, I totally understand that. Here's how we do that. Totally understand your desire to get a discount on Shakeology. Here's how that works. Totally understand your desire to hold yourself accountable in your own fitness. Here's how that works. Here's how that would look for you if you were a coach. Totally understand your desire to, you know, want to hold yourself accountable, you know, or uh, how to want to make money. I guess I just said that. Want to make money. And I totally understand your desire to help other people. Here's what that looks like. Is that something you really, really want to do? And eventually, you know, you may eventually have to ask if people are kind of beating around the bush. I rarely do. What I find is more often than not, when I start having those conversations with people, they sell themselves. And I start asking them questions. Let them talk. They will sell themselves. Yeah, I'm really interested in, 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 in helping people. And I could totally see how, as a coach, this would give me an awesome opportunity to do that. All right, cool. Once we're there, if I hear something like that, great. So... Are you ready? Is this the time for you right now? Yeah, this is it. This is my time. Or, ah, I can totally see how this is, but eh, my man, my man, I don't know, and maybe, nah, 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 nah. okay, it's not your time right now. Would it be okay if I, if I just followed up with you later? When do you think would be a good time for you to deal with this? Oh, well, I'm going on a big vacation and after I get back. All right, cool, when will you be back? How about a week after you get back? Let's let you get back to work and get all sorted out and then I'll follow up with you. Would that be okay? Yeah, great. Okay. Or no, I'm ready to go right now. Okay. And if they're ready to go right now, here's how I present the coaching option, the uh, coaching opportunity. Okay. Once we're ready to go, that's the point where I am presenting the challenge pack option. So I talked to them and I said, okay, you know, you already, you know, you're going to get a discount on supplements, right? And we know you're going to get Shakeology because Shakeology is the foundation of our business. Now, if they're resistant to that, you've got more work to do. Okay, that's the point where you've got more work to do. You've got to get them to buy into Shakeology, and it's really simple. That's a really simple thing. I just tell people, listen, if you're going to do this business and you're going to have any level of success, you have to be taking Shakeology because you cannot recommend a restaurant that you haven't been to. Okay, so you need to make a reservation and come to our restaurant and try Shakeology and experience it. Now, this is very, very simple if you've done, again, more background work with them and started them on Shakeology as a customer. They already have that belief system. They're in for Shakeology. At that point, it's about, okay, have you looked at any of the other fitness programs? What has you interested and what looks, what looks like it might be a good option for you to move on and learn a different program so that you diversify your background as a coach? Okay, now some people, very few people I'll tell you, but some people, say, answer that question and go, you know what, nothing. I'm just a P90X3 guy, that's all I care about. I'm just x 3 it up. I'm gonna do this workout forever. Okay, great, let's just start you out with Shakeology. Most other people acknowledge that if they're gonna be really effective at this business, they're gonna need some diversity of knowledge about different programs. So that's what I'm trying to, to aid them to. And I'll tell you that with most of my people, because Beachbody does such a good job of dripping on them as far as like exposing them to new stuff on an ongoing basis. It's not a struggle. They've seen another workout that appeals to them. It might be Body Beast, it might be Pyo, it might be um, it might be T25. You know, there's something else out there that they've thought about doing. And I just have the conversation. I, I try to start them with a the sale. I mean, that's a really easy way to get a challenge back as well. So let's say I had somebody who said. Yeah, you know what? I'm just an X3 guy. That's it. I'm just that X3 guy. I don't want any other programs. Okay, but we already agreed you're going to do Shakeology, all right? So this month, in the month of July in 2014, the current challenge pack sale is Pio, all right? And there's also a three-day refresh challenge pack as well. Both of those, it's basically $10 to add that on. That's a, such an easy challenge pack upsell right there. Great. We know you're going to do Shakeology. Okay. For 10 bucks extra though, you can get this. Here are two different options for you this month that, that you can maybe upgrade with. You need to understand what the sales are this month. There's probably something on sale that's 10 bucks extra. 
Okay, it might be a program like Les Mills Combat or an, an, an older program like Insanity or even P90X. That's a great conversation to have. Wouldn't you want that in your library for 10 bucks? Maybe it's the 21 day fix and you're talking to a, a guy. How about that for your wife? Maybe, it, maybe you're talking to a woman who is coming off of the 21 day fix. Wouldn't you like to have P90X3? Maybe your husband would be a little more interested in doing that one than the 21 day fix and you could enroll him in your journey and go down this path together, okay? So what I'm telling you is you just have to be a little bit creative, but it's about listening to people and it's about trying to solve their problems. When you can do that and you've built a connection with them, the close is the easiest part of this entire process, okay? I, I know that may seem difficult to understand now where you're at at this stage because you've probably struggled with this at, up till now. I'm gonna suggest that the reason you've struggled with it is that you've gone too fast with people, you've been in a big rush with people, you're just asking people, join our business, and they can't see any way, they don't even know what you do, okay? So we need to slow down, build relationships with people, explain to people who we are and what we do, and then show them how who we are and what we do solves a problem that they have. All right guys, that's our video for today, again, Connect with your people who are in the What Is Coaching group. That's, it'll be, I'm guarantee you, it'll be the easiest close. If they're in, you will find out maybe before the end of the group that they want to join our team. All right, guys, have a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow.